everybody, welcome. Today we are in <laughs> Restart, go up again. What's up everybody, today we are in Manila, Philippines and we're gonna dine at one of my favorite places ever, 7-Eleven. We're gonna find what kind of hot foods, snacks, drinks are in there. Ready, let's go. section and you guys have pineapple juice and white grape juice look at this a hundred percent of your daily vitamin C needs <laughs> I'm gonna get one <laughs> it looks really really watery though you guys know how in the Taiwan 7-eleven there's like tea eggs in the pot they also have that in the Philippines look Ow, I just touched it <laughs> except it's not really tea eggs it's just boiled eggs <laughs> nice oh this is like the ramen section which we're gonna do and check it out you guys hot foods so these is the hot dogs. Ooh, oh, steamy. Jumbo Classic, Sweet Chili Barbecue, TJ Cheese Dog. Guys, there's a TJ Cheese Dog. I have to get it because it's my name. <laughs> Some of the dog juice just squirted all over me. <laughs> Sometimes at 7-Eleven, they kick me out, which is why I can't really like shop around. But so far, so good here, you guys. Oh yes, can't get me. <laughs> Anyways, we're at the chip section right now, and oh my goodness, I'm seeing a lot of really cool flavors. If you guys look over here, we got the regular Pringles, and then we got the Panoi flavor, salt and vinegar, chicken inasol. They have Swiss cheese flavor, and they have the salted egg flavor. I love salted egg flavor stuff. I wasn't expecting to find this here. We got all types of nuts, all types of nuts of different flavors. Garlic, hot and spicy, just all types. Salted cashew. Let the feast begin. Okay, so first I got one of their bows. Look at how giant this thing is. This is the biggest bow I've seen out of any 7-Eleven. It's a great time to remind you to buy my bow merch over here. I'm gonna open this up so you can see what's inside, but I can't get over how big this is. Oh no, oh no. Okay, there it is. Unfortunately, I was trying to rip the meat, but the meat's kind of like frozen. <laughs> the meat's a little bit tough, hard to rip apart, but let's just see how it tastes. Ready? Mm. It's a lot saltier um, than regular pork buns, but it's not bad. And I like that it's full of filling. It's pretty good. Like a lot of the bows in the other 7-Eleven are much mushier, softer. This one's quite firm. Firm. Okay, so next up, we're gonna try the TJ Dog, aka myself. I was looking for ketchup, but they don't, I, they didn't, I didn't find any here, so we're just gonna bite into it. Here we go, tender and juicy. Okay, this was definitely very, very salty, but they were correct. It is very, very tender. And the cheese inside is very creamy, so I guess that's the juicy part. You definitely need to pair it with bread because it is quite, quite savory. Mm. Mm. It's definitely one of the softer hot dogs I've eaten. Next up, we are trying the pendasol. And inside, I got the tuna one because I've never tried that before. Um, I had him heat it up, so it's piping hot right now. This is so perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, take a look. This is exactly how my buns look like. It's nice and firm. We're actually gonna rip it open and see what's inside. Ready? Ooh, ooh, it's piping hot. Oh, wow, it's a tuna filling, but it's got kind of a pork floss texture for that. You taste just a little bit of that tuna flavor, 
um, but the texture really still tastes like pork floss, which is very strange. And I don't know if they added other stuff in here. It's supposed to be mayo and a little bit of cheese in here. I'm not sure about that filling, but I will say the texture of this pendazole is exactly how I like imagine it to be. Really, really soft and fluffy and really, really addictive. You just want to like keep taking bites off of it. Mm. Wow. Look, it's so squishy. <laughs> Next up, drink test. This is the grape juice. It tastes like grape candy. This reminds me a lot of, um, if you guys saw the Korea McDonald episode, they had grape juice. This tastes just like that as well. Oh yeah, very, very sweet. They melted grape candy. That's what this is. So this is the calamansi juice. On it, it says natural, homegrown, eco-friendly. So any type of keywords they can put in there to get you to buy it, it's on this can. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm. It's like not as sour um, as I was expecting because calamansi is quite sour. But it's not bad, it's like a very refreshing lemonade. So as I was um, exploring this space, a lot of people were buying these boxes, these green boxes of sisig. Sisig? Sisig. And I just thought I should buy one as well. So it's kind of interesting because it's taped down. I don't know why, but we're gonna open it up. Oh wait, I forgot the tape on the side. <laughs> Hold on. Oh wow. They really gave you a lot of rice. Oh. This kind of reminds me of like minced pork rice. Um, but sisig is supposed sisig, but this is supposed to be like a mixture of like organs, um, chicken liver, stuff like that. I don't know if obviously this is what they actually did, but let's try it. Ooh, the rice looks really fluffy. It's got a little bit of spice. It's very very watery. Um, but flavorful. Mm. I have the ingredient list right here. Ingredient list. Steamed rice, water, um, pork ear, water, spices, seasoning, soy protein, modified starch, fresh onion, chili pepper, salt. Okay, so it's mostly pork ear in here actually. Mm. I taste a little bit of the chew of the meat, um, but it's mostly a lot of sauce. The sauce actually covers the rice quite well. Like, if you guys look at it, it's like really soaked in there. So every bite is flavorful. This is pretty good, and it's very, very filling, and it's very cheap, so I can see why a lot of people are buying it. Whoa, the more I eat it, the more I like it. Mm. My time here in Manila, it's like very jam-packed, right? So I don't have a lot of free time. And because we're eating all the time, I don't have a lot of free tummy space. And I really want to eat Jelly Bee. I love Jelly Bee so much. But I don't know if I have time. However, as I walked in here, I saw a display of fried chicken. And it says that you can get chicken and rice right here at 7-Eleven. So I got a set and we're gonna see how good it tastes. It's crunch time! Can I get the edit? Crunch time! Jumbo <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at this sexy leg. This looks like the leg they would put on the commercial to advertise chicken and rice. Um, and of course, the rice is in a little packaging, and I just plop it there. It's so cute, there it is. And then, of course, we got the gravy that comes with it, too. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Because you would think a convenience store chicken would be really tiny. Not here, not at 7-Eleven. Okay, so I'm gonna actually... Five million years later. 
My hands are so tired <laughs> from using this fork and the spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in some of this gravy. Ooh, the gravy is looking good. I'm gonna get some rice. All right, let's take a bite. This is no jelly bean, but this is pretty darn good. Like you guys saw the size of that leg, right? The chicken just a little bit dry, but that gravy obviously coats it well. And the skin is so savory and crispy. Quite delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, 7-Eleven chicken rice. We got a thumb of approval. Also, they gave me chili sauce, and I think this is like some type of soy sauce. I'm sorry if I'm like not using the sauces right. I'm not exactly sure where to put that in. Is that from a hot dog? No. So one of the cup noodle flavors that people said to get was the bulalo, which is some type of like beef shake flavor soup. They actually had so much different packaging and like seasoning in there when I opened it up. I already put some hot water in there. Stir it up a bit. Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. Just the perfect. The noodles are kind of soft. Mmm, smells really good. It's like a less saltier version of the Maruchan beef cup of noodles. Yes, it's a lot more different like flavor and seasoning going on as you can obviously know because of all the packaging. The noodle texture is exactly like every other, um, like those matcham cup noodle type of noodles. But the soup, I guess, is really the winner here. Pretty yummy. Yeah, it's like a light beef soup. Mm. The soup is really good. I know it's all just like artificial seasoning, but that soup is addicting. Pickle. Before I leave, I had to get some snacks. Um, I saw this snack over there. I don't know if they are good, bam. So this is the crackling chips with chicken skin flavor. That sounds so good. And of course I had to, I had to get Mr. Potato. He was just looking at me. And this is the first time I've seen like a sweet potato crisp flavor. And it says so glamorous. And I'm glamorous, so I had to get it. Really good marketing. Targeting the right people. Check out my nails, they're cute. Okay, here it goes. Ugh. I have no energy. Ugh. This, oh, okay, there we go. Ooh. Wow. Wow, you guys. Look how purpley this is. <laughs> purpley. These are really beautiful chips. I'll tell you that. It's not good, guys. <laughs> Why you lie to me? Why you lie? It just tastes like regular chips. I mean, it's really crunchy, I'll give it that. But it's not sweet, it's not salty. It's just like plain chips. I have a question. Do you, pr do you pronounce this me, main Juan, or Juan, me, me? Trivia game. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. They remind me of like Fritos. Hmm. It's okay. Could be a little saltier, but I really like the crunchiness of it. Mm. Mm. I love how crunchy it is, actually. It's almost like a flaky crunchiness, and it's very, very good. I could see someone just like holding this and just eating and eating and eating, and the next thing they know, they finish the whole bag. Okay, you guys, there you go. That was the 7-Eleven experience here in Manila, Philippines. Be sure to watch all the other 7-Eleven videos. Yeah, it's gonna pop up right here. Or right here. Or you know where to find them. So before I go, I had to get their soft serve ice cream. It's like belting. And there's chocolate, and I think this is ube flavor? I don't know, I'm just gonna buy into it, ready? Woo! Oh my God, that is really good. <laughs> Look at the size of this cone, it's ridiculous. And it's only 15 pesos. Pretty darn good. Mmm. Oh, you know why I like the soft serve? 
because it's not so much creamy, it's more of like the icy type of soft serve. It's really good. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And it's part of the video where I turn it back to you and ask which of the items that we tried today would you love to try? And also, if you guys live in Manila, let us know what are some other items we should try here at 7-Eleven. Thanks for watching. Bye. Help. Ah. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> I just choked on air. <laughs> Big gulp. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. We're good. Hey guys, welcome back.